All right, so as I said, we got some real cool boats here. So that road right there is I-95. <clears throat> oh man, look at that. That's cool as hell. But yeah, we got some, uh, some real, real expensive boats here. Gonna sell a whole lot of drugs to get one of these. All right, guys, good morning. So I talked about the starter problem uh, that I have not been able to figure out, even though the wiring is exactly as it should be to match that motor. Uh, the port motor will turn over the starter. This one will not. So we got Josue here. Got Josue here helping me out because he is smarter than I am and knows what he's doing. He's got his little electrical gadgets here. What do you think? Are we going to get it started? Of course. 10 minutes more. <laughs> 10 minutes? Man, man. Uh, okay all right see that's why you bring in the experts all right Josue, so you just hit yeah the so, starting solenoid right here okay it's hidden was stuck in the open position i stuck in the closed position and just keep spinning the motor okay but so if i get a new one and then we're fine so that was the only problem yeah it's fine okay the only thing you need is that that oh uh, you're the fucking man dude you got that shit figured out real quick i was 10 minutes that was less than 10 minutes. That was like six, seven minutes. <laughs> nice job, dude. Oof, barely touched it with the wire wheel. And there we go. So this is gonna be a much larger fix than uh, I planned. I will touch base with you once I decide what I'm gonna do. Well, we're back. As you can see, welding a nut to it didn't really work. So first you don't succeed. Hit that shit with a hammer. I believe I will be busting this entire thing out with a hammer. Remember your eye protection, kids. After watching what I did to his four friends, this last one don't seem to want to fight me. I wouldn't either. All right, the new starter relay is in. Everything is turned off. The engine controls are off. Put those on these are set to on as soon as i hit this switch the starter's gonna run What did I do wrong here? Even with this relay completely disconnected, the starter's wired up, nothing connected to that relay. As soon as I hit this, bam, starter's on. All right, so a bit of an update. Um, the new starter relay is in down there. I was having issues it was still well when you turn the battery power on it would immediately trigger the starter smacked it a couple times with a hammer so that's good that solved it uh you can see you got the engine aligned and bolted to the prop shaft there you got the uh, funnel down there just put fluid in the transmission just finished hooking up all the lines to the uh cooler here got that tightened up all right guys welcome back so you can see the uh bertram over there uh we're getting pretty close it is all buttoned up i've got the batteries charging right now you can see i believe the extension cord running through the boat uh the main battery is charged the um, two starting batteries are charging at the moment right now let me show you what i'm doing this is going to be a new windshield uh, for the flybridge so up on the flybridge right up there normally is a windshield but the truck driver that brought that from georgia to here ran into a tree and busted it off um, a replacement is pretty hard to find and then we will test fit it up there and hopefully that works and then i'm hoping uh, to have this done tonight and then tomorrow we can go drop the boat in the water do the first float test um, and put her back in the water for the first time all right so she's in that completely just got two bolts there one there the rest i got hiding down there need to find some washers um, and better daylight to climb in and 
be able to reach those bolts there. Um, today is kind of a big day. I'm a little stressed out here, but we are going to try and get the boat started. If it does start, I believe we are going to take this big girl down to the boat ramp um, and do a little float test because I am not convinced that the new um, shaft seal is gonna work. I just wanna make sure after a year, well, almost a year of this thing sitting that um, it's still good to go. So we are going to uh, try and get her started. Let's see, let's see if we can make some noise here. Yeah, okay. Uh, barely any noise. All right, we might have a problem. Well, we may have an issue here. Uh, I don't know if the cold killed this battery or what. That was supposed to be fully charged. That one never got charged. Okay, so I don't think any of this is gonna work today. We got the charger back on there. It's charging away. All right, guys, good morning. We are, uh, today's the day. I'm a little nervous, but we're taking the Bertram out. I'm gonna water test it right now. I am uh, draining. The water that's in the build i'm gonna put the uh plug in it and i'm gonna do it now so that i don't risk forgetting and sinking this thing uh, at the dock so that's gonna go in then our next challenge just to get out of the yard is these lines here not the big power one but where are they uh yeah these these little ones um those are at the same level uh, as the flybridge so i'm gonna back it up climb up there lift those out of the way then take the boat back and hopefully out to the street it's not ideal but it's what i got for now all right managed to slip her between the wires and uh let's get her out to the street all right time to leave the house got a little escalade it's on the big boat hopefully she'll be all right we don't have a ton of clearance under the uh propellers but hopefully if we go slow everything will go smoothly let's we did not have success the wheel snap the studs off the trailer <sighs> made it about a block away from the house now we got a wheel with a bent face which i guess can be addressed but uh, what a pain all right so i will be mulching the neighbor's grass again that's fun see how big of a drag mark we put in see here's the mulch i already did and i'm gonna run it right over again good all right let's try this again this time we're gonna go double check our lug nuts make sure those look tight and we're putting the lug wrench and a breaker bar in the car in case we gotta stop and tighten those down along the way look okay there those look all right well, let's get the dog and get this thing out on the street once the old UPS gets out of the way. Yep, got to do what you got to do. Let's get this show on the road. Round two. Jake, come on. Come on, bud. Come on, let's go. Come on, boy. Hup. Good boy. All right, here we go. Now my neighborhood's kind of a pain in the ass because we got these power lines and all kinds of shit overhead. Um, but the boat just seems to clear it. But I know we have a sketchy one coming up, so I'll show you that when we get to it. I'm gonna keep it right here in the middle. And then in a bit, we're gonna have to go to the left side because all these trees that hang over look real nice. But the boat's pretty damn tall. So I think right about where this truck is, where we gotta get left. Yep, you can see it here. Let's see if you can see it. We got this low power line, which is fucking ridiculous. That shouldn't be like that. And then right after that, we got this low branch. So let's scoot through here. Let's show you how close that is. Oh, uh, we just cleared it. All right, back to the regular side of the road. Got old Jake there having a good time. Accidentally ran a red light, but we ain't stopping this thing. She's doing all right, no funny noises just yet. I will tell you, I am very nervous right now. 
All right, so what we're learning here is we definitely got to reposition that uh, secondary transmission cooler and uh, definitely need that new thermostat put in because the, uh, the truck is getting a little warm towing this big load. All right, transmission up to 217. Again, we got to move that transmission cooler. We're almost at the ramp. Got to hope we don't smack these trees. They're dangling way too low over the road. And let's get into old Cooley's Landing here. Stay right there, motherfucker. All right. And we are safely where we need to be. So let me show you around here. We're going to try to get to the very far uh, ramp, which should give us some peace and quiet and let us stay out of everybody else's way. So you guys, this is the ramp I learned to do all my boating at. I believe that's a Bertram. Maybe that's a Trojan right there. But anyways, yeah, my very first boat caught fire in the water right there at that uh, at that ramp. We will find the ramp I'm looking for that'll give us a little bit of privacy, uh, keep us out of everybody's way while we do what we gotta do. Now we just hope no one's there. Perfect. We're gonna take that far ramp right there. All right, let me do this and uh, I'll get back with you in a minute. All right, well, no one's here at the ramp, so I'm gonna do a quick walk around. This will be pretty good towing it. Here she is. I'm gonna back her up a little bit further. I got the lines out so that hopefully I can run over and start tying them off. It's, it's a good ramp. Um, I'm a big fan of it. It goes all the way back. There's no big drop off or anything. You gotta worry about getting stuck. Um, and again, the privacy is a, a nice part of this ramp. So let me uh, get started here. All right, pro tip, uh, I like to leave the truck in drive with the brake on to do this. So when we get out, if anything breaks, the truck will just take off and go forward, hopefully not go flying back into the water. So uh, yeah, do that. Don't leave it in park when you're on a ramp. Okay, folks, I found our leaks. Let's see if I can get that on camera. You can see that one dripping. And way at the back, uh, I don't know if you can see it here kind of upside down but the uh, rudder is leaking so both of those need to be fixed before this boat goes and lives in the water uh, let's check the other side so you can see quite a stream of water coming in there luckily we got three bilge pumps but that is gonna need to be addressed before she goes to live in the water okay Doesn't look to be much water coming out of that shaft seal. So that's good. This phone brightens it up in here and then no water there. So that's good. And then I don't see anything coming off of that shaft log or anything bad. So it looks like it's all starboard side, but while we're at it, we'll probably change that uh, shaft seal. Um, they should be done at the same time. All right, so first things first, I think we're gonna try to get this motor started. Got the jump box on it. All right, boys, there we go. Got the port side motor running. Let her, uh, let her run up high here, kind of blow the cobwebs out. But she's making good oil pressure. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go, good oil pressure. Um, so I'm gonna let that run for a minute. And then uh, if I can get her to idle down, stay idle, then we'll work on the uh, side motor. All right, boys and girls, we got them both running. All right. Now that's what these tests are for. So that's not ideal obviously, um, but I'm going to tell you what, I think at the moment, I'm just going to, you know, I might tighten those bolts down a little bit, but we're all the way out here, we got the engines running, we're kind of leak testing this thing, so um, I think we're going to wait here in a minute and, and go for a drive anyways. All right, guys, we made it. Old Jakey's down there having a good time. Ignore the dirty deck, I'll wash it one day. So we are taking, that's the new river. That's the North Fork. 
We are taking the South Fork of the New River. All right, so as I said, we got some real cool boats here. So that road right there is I-95. <clears throat> oh man, look at that. That's cool as hell. But yeah, we got some, uh, some real, real expensive boats here. Gotta sell a whole lot of drugs to get one of these. Speaking of awesome yachts, look at that thing. And this is why everyone hates jet skiers. They are ripping in a no wake zone. Yeah, yeah, fucking dickhead. But here we are, what do you expect? Anyways, that boat, I'll get a shot of when we come back. It's an amazing cut. We got this one in forward, we'll drop this one in reverse. And we're starting to turn. Now if we want to speed this up, we can add some throttle. Add a little of both and here we go we are just turning right on a dime and back this way now let's roll that that is hard to get rid of that is the one thing I will miss if we decide to hang out boards on this thing or make it a jet drive we will lose that for sure all right well successful trip we got a bit of a vibration though i believe it's on that side prop i ran over something um there's just no way to avoid it so that's something to check out when we get home but here we are coming into downtown fort lauderdale heck of a view huh let's get her parked up and uh i'll try and video the process of loading her up on the trailer all right we are back she's sitting good Looks like on the paint, I got close to the water line, so that's good. I ran it into this bridge coming out, so I thought I may have done some damage to the paint, but it looks like it held up okay. Let's see. She does look good, though. All right, so. Okay, you can see the, the lettering a little better in the sun. Let's get a look at her on this side and then uh, once I got a rope on, on her we'll, uh, we'll back the escalate up and tow her out all right she hooked up these guys over here help me out let's see if we can't get her out Definitely need to upgrade our strap situation, but I will say the boat looks to be sitting a little better on the trailer uh, than when I left, a little more forward, so that's good. Now let's see if we can get home. Well, there goes the brand new windshield. That's unfortunate. 